What is going on, everybody? It's Jet Central coming back with some breaking NFL news that happened like 20 minutes ago. Uh, it's funny, I was actually sitting in a uh, pizza place and I caught the news uh, like on the bottom line of the uh, TV that they had in the shop. But anyway, the Dallas Cowboys went ahead and are going to release wide receiver Des Bryant. And I got to be honest with you guys, I feel like I speak for most fans of football when I say that I'm not too, I'm not incredibly shocked. Okay, I've seen the writing on the wall with Cal- with Dallas and Des. It's it's just it wasn't going to work, and it, it just wasn't going to work any longer. And I gotta say, I'm in favor of this move, uh, for both parties involved. You know, for Dallas, I mean, you look at Dallas as a team. It's a, it's they're a younger team. You know, you look at Dak Prescott, you look at uh, Ezekiel Elliott, you look at the offensive line. That's probably the you know the the number one staple of this offense that I would assume they want to keep intact for years to come. Uh, Des Bryant doesn't really fit that mold, you know. When you take a look at Des's age, when you take a look at Des's production over the last three years, it's dropped each and every season, and with each coming season he gets older and older. And I think that's just not a recipe to be a number one X wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys anymore. Now, of course, I get it. Des Bryant, he's been such a polarizing player, such an electrifying player, has had amazing moments. He's had amazing games, amazing seasons with the team, you know, with the Cowboys. And uh, he's definitely a fan favorite. You know, how many, I I swear, I mean, I live in Florida. I can go out to the mall. I'm pretty much for sure going to see 188 jersey you know it's like a lock Des Bryant is he has so many fans all over the place but just um I just think it was the right move for the Cowboys to to go ahead and and release him I think you look at Dallas Dallas from a wide receiver standpoint and they just brought in Alan Hearns from Jacksonville a younger wide receiver uh who's had success with you know with the Jacksonville Jags uh, so I like that fit. You have Cole Beasley. I liked. Um, I know they drafted a rookie, or they drafted a, a kid from um, North Carolina, Ryan Switzer, who I liked. He's kind of like Cole Beasley. And then, of course, you know you still have the draft. You know you have tons of good players available in the draft: Christian Kirk, uh, Cortland Sutton, Calvin Ridley, uh, my favorite wide receiver Anthony Miller, that you can replace Des Bryant with on Dallas. So if you're a Cowboy fan out there, don't work. Don't be too upset about this move because I just feel like it was the it was the right move. And then for Des from Des's perspective as well, um this is something I was also trying to think about. I think this is you know, I think it's gonna be a, a nice thing for him, you know, for him to get a change of scenery. Uh a couple landing spots that I feel like he would fit well in is number one, the Baltimore Ravens. I think Baltimore they have a huge knee at wide receiver. They obviously brought in Crabtree from uh, Oakland, but they still you know they when you think of Baltimore you, you think of the just the great defenses and stuff you you need to get some offensive players on, on the on, for the Baltimore Ravens uh you take a look at maybe the Washington Redskins you know they lack the number one uh X wide receiver maybe you could get him in Des comes in motivated wants to stick at the Dallas twice a year uh obviously as he's I mean he's played in the NFC East he's has um experience playing against the Giants and the Eagles uh so overall I, I, I would I would think Baltimore and Washington, those would probably be the top two on Des Bryant's list or maybe uh, there's just a few suitors for him. So, uh, yeah, that's the news. The Dallas Cowboys went ahead and released wide receiver Des Bryant. Let me know down in the comment section your guys' thoughts on this move. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and go Jets.